Hi, I'm Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's vlog, we're going to have a, take a little look at how to acclimatise to cold water swimming. It's a beautiful sunny day down here in the south coast of the UK and I'm heading into the water at Calshot. On this video, we're going to look at four things. Firstly, we're going to look at how you get in. Then we're going to look at, secondly, how to stay in. Thirdly, I want to look at when you know it's time to get out. And fourthly, we're going to look at what to do if you overcook it. I'll also pop in a couple of tips about uh, dealing with ice cream head and um, how to maintain acclimatisation. So, number one on the list is uh, how to get in. So initially, I'm just going to stroll in to about waist deep. Now that I'm waist deep, I'm going to just drop into the water Ooh. and start my watch. So now that I've got myself in, I'm going to wait here for a minute. I'm just going to drift about, just make sure my breathing's under control. Um, it might be that initially it takes longer than a minute, so do give it the time to sort your breathing out before you ask your body to do more than just cope with the, uh, the sudden change in temperature on getting into the water. Okay, once your breathing's under control, you can start swimming. What I would say is it's probably a good idea to start off gently, just get yourself moving because it's a bit of a surprise to your armpits when they get that cold once you start moving. Um, and then you're gonna start swimming properly. But just be gentle on yourself the first time you do this. When you put your face in the water, it can be an almighty shock and you could get a massive headache immediately. My top tip for this ice cream head is to put the tip of your tongue right on the soft bit at the roof at the back of the roof of your mouth you might be able to see that as soon as i put my face in to start with the first few strokes that's exactly where my tongue is sitting just kind of holding on there i don't know if it's that it takes your mind off things i'm not sure if that's why it works or whether there's actually something a bit more scientific to it but for me it seems to work nicely give it a crack and let me know in the comments how you get on yourself a chance to settle into it because those first five minutes can make you think well this is just way too cold there's no chance I can stay in like this so give yourself a bit of a chance to um, to warm up and go for it the other thing you can do is check out the other water users around you which is always something that can help you uh, stay interested um, I'm lucky enough to be swimming in an area where there's plenty of activity on the water so um, that, can, that can prove a good distraction. In actual fact, it can keep you in a little bit longer than you really feel like you should be. How long you can last in the water is a factor of quite a number of things. It can be fatness, fitness, um, what you had for breakfast, if you had anything at all to eat recently. Um, but what you've got to do, rather than aiming for a particular time that you want to stay in for, it's about listening to your body and uh, working out how long it's happy to stay in for. So some things that you can do to work out if you've been in too long um, is if you, I don't know, if you have a little chat to yourself and you find yourself slurring, that is really uh, time to get out. Another thing is you can do a dexterity test on yourself. So just um, trying to get your fingers and thumbs to touch like this, which shows actually I'm okay at the moment. But once they start to stiffen up or the coordination starts to be lost, that's the time to certainly be getting yourself out. Also, if you start to shiver, 100% time to get out. So it's a really good thing if you're going to swim um, and you're just kind of getting used to it, is definitely to swim along the, uh, the shoreline rather than straight out. Because if you swim straight out and you're too cold, you've still got to get yourself back in. So um, I like to swim along the shore just to make sure I can get out if I need to. I mentioned that shivering's a reason to get out of the water. Well, that's because it is your body starting to try to reheat the core. Um, clinical hypothermia happens at 35 degrees. So one thing to watch out for when you do acclimatise is the fact that actually you, your body won't start to react and need to shiver until closer to 35 degrees. So it's absolutely imperative as someone who is already acclimatised that you get out 
hopefully before you start to shiver. With hypothermia, three things to look for. Um, loss of dexterity and uh, the ability to coordinate, slurred speech and mental confusion. Any of those signs, and we really need to be getting ourselves out and about, back into uh, shelter and dried off as quickly as possible. You can see just here where I slightly overcooked it. Just been for a swim um, in the test marshes. What a lovely place. Uh, did about 25 minutes in four degree water. So as you can see, it's a bit chilly. I'm just trying to warm up. Anyway, hot chocolate and uh, hopefully stop shivering. So here we are, I'm almost warmed up now. It's taken a long time actually. Um, still shivering a bit, but not as badly as I was. And um, I'm surprised it's taken half an hour since getting in the car to get to even this level of shivering. So um, yeah, I think I got myself pretty cold this morning. Something to be aware of when you're deciding when to get out is that your body continues to cool for 20 to 30 minutes after you get out the water. So it's absolutely critical that you get out of the water in time, you get yourself dried and into shelter and hopefully have a warm drink. The good thing about trying to acclimatise is it doesn't take very many dips, you know, a handful of goes before you start to reap the benefits and start to see that you can stay in quite a bit longer. And interestingly, you only need to do that once a week to maintain it. And even if you miss one here or there, it won't matter. So just to recap, if you're thinking about trying to acclimatise to go open water swimming, just take it easy on yourself. Get in gently, take your time before you start swimming. Let your breathing regulate. Listen to your body to work out what time is good for you to stay in and get out sooner rather than later. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, Take a look at the other videos on my channel, which is Everyday Athlete. Uh, there's plenty on open water swimming and I hope to see you as a subscriber soon. See you next time.